BetterHelp sue Harry's better up for copyright and expose the Duke's company hire unlicensed therapists. Brand battles. Prince Harry's better up takes aim at BetterHelp trademark, but it backfired. According to a previous report in Law 360's latest roundup of new actions at the trademark trial and appeal board, virtual counselling service BetterHelp is facing a trademark challenge by mental health and coaching startup BetterUp. So there are two companies that have such similar names that there are multiple articles comparing them. BetterUp, who Harry's associated with, and BetterHelp, who he's not. The key difference between BetterHelp and BetterUp is that the former provides online therapy, while the latter provides coaching services. BetterHelp is a top online therapy platform that connects individuals with licensed therapists. Meanwhile, Harry's company isn't licensed therapists. BetterUp could be a plagiarism of BetterHelp, and BetterHelp should sue Harry. BetterUp has a terrible reputation for its employees. They weren't founded from passion, but instead to be sold to the highest bidder. BetterHelp was kind of iffy when it first came out, but they have a much better reputation now. They also have commercials for their services with actual licensed therapists. Unlike BetterUp that just flicks its charges a ton and has a horrible reputation, advertises nowhere and says they're helping corporate America, when in fact, that it's life coaches affirming your victimhood and self-entitlement. BetterUp claims that its goal is not to simply help employees thrive professionally, but rather to help members focus on what's most important to them. That could be working towards a promotion. Well, in fact, BetterUp's business model is reliant on the largesse of bigger companies to sign contracts with them as a benefits provider. In the days where Silicon Valley was flush with cash and every startup and company was throwing ridiculous perks to attract and retain employees. Prince Harry is helping get better up military contracts. It's interesting though that they chose to make him C-suite instead of giving him a board seat. But I suppose Harry needs a proper job to stay in the United States. Why do you think that with all his talk of therapy and spare, and certainly in his many interviews, he never mentions or promotes better up? Allegedly part of the negotiations for Harry's position at BetterUp was he wanted a C-suite position, hence basically made one up, and a percentage of ownership, profit, when the company goes public, IPO. Harry's presence was supposed to facilitate corporate contacts, i.e. military related, and raise the stock prices before going public, allegedly. They just can't be happy. Harry already had zero mental health qualifications, and if anything, he demonstrates the failure of the better up coaching versus mental health professionals. Prince Harry told one hell of a lie during the Oprah interview. He claims that he didn't know how to get mental health help for his wife. This comes from the comment that she allegedly wanted to die while pregnant with Archie. He helped William and sister-in-law Kate from Heads Together, which so happens to deal with mental illness. Also, the former actress's mother, Doria Ragland, is a mental health counsellor. Turns out the Duke of Sussex fibbed about his own therapy. He's a lost soul who thinks that drugs are the answer to everything.